Alrighty, let's do this. So, hello and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I got a face cam because I want to show something off here. But anyway, we are doing Breath of the Wild Quarter Heart Hardcore series, because why not? I mean, we already did hardcore, so might as well just amp things up a little bit. But before I begin, wanted to show this off. I got the, uh, so if you've seen the channel a little bit, you know that we are, I've done the... Hello, you miss games. How's it going? Yeah, if you've seen the channel, you might have seen the video I did on the Breath of the Wild speedrun challenge. Um, and I said that the reward is a t-shirt. And actually, I wanted to show this off real quick. The shirt, um, I'm going to make another one for that. But I wanted to make one for myself. And the shirt actually came in. So here it is. Yes. The, uh... <laughs> Uh, Step Ninja plays. Hello, Udemus. Hello, NX1. All right, but yeah, the uh, Breath of the Wild speedrun challenge shirt came in for that, so it's a good, good whatever there, good first attempt. There are a couple things I'm gonna change for that, but that is the shirt. The shirt came in for that, so whoever wins that will get this shirt. But anyway, we are going to be. Ooh, let me turn on my face game here. We are going to be doing. A idea suggested on my Discord, actually. If you want to join, you can send me video suggestions. But we are... Hello, Epic Gamer 696 How's your day been? But we are going to be doing Breath of the Wild One Quarter Heart Hardcore Playthrough. So any damage I take will, in fact, game over us. So this is going to be interesting. All right, let me check. 
Um, one second. As long as it's not copyrighted, I should be able to. Alright. Um, here we go. Let's see. What game... Uh, one second. Alrighty, so I will get back to the remixes in a second, but this is... Alright, I'll play those in a little bit. Um, yeah, Eden Miss Games is the one that recommended it. But we are going to be starting a new game here. My goal is going to be complete the entire main storyline. So we'll be beating all the Divine Beasts, Claiming to Ganon, um, stuff like that. So we will be doing all of that. We might even do DLC too. I don't know how long we actually want this to go for. So... But this is going to be the start of something. I don't know how nuts this is going to be, but we shall see. All right, let me play the. What do we got? All right, this is the remixes NX7 sent me. Nice. Pretty good. Yeah, we've done the hardcore series. We've done other playthroughs. I've done a glitch run playthrough, so I guess it's a uh, time to start time to start doing some hard harder stuff now. And then later we can start adding in mods and do this again. I don't know. There's a lot we can do with Breath of the Wild still. Alrighty. Nice. And <laughs> Hello Matrix Cyclone, how's it going? Let's see. But yeah, how's everybody's day going? I will be, and one thing I do want to mention as well, before we get too far into this, just some technical stuff that we got to be covering as well. Uh, assuming what you're imagining, you only get one hard save after the Great Plateau and after each Divine Beast. Yep. It's probably dumb enough. You'd probably be better off just, yeah. We only get one hard save at the beginning of every day and that's the one save we get to reload if we game over at all but anyway just channel stuff i want to cover before we get too far into the everything see you later matrix is that i will be streaming tomorrow hey you're welcome Edemus. yeah i will be streaming tomorrow uh it'll be breath of the wild um, I might be Twitch chat plays. It might be the alternating the buff and nerf thing. Um, every stream. So yeah, if we get off the plateau, then I can hard save there. And then it's basically after every section of the game, it's going to be like after every divine beast, I get one save. So we have to get through all the divine beast and then more like, through all Divine Beasts, fight the Blight again, and get the power, finish the quest, and then we can hard save. So, but anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. We are... I will be streaming tomorrow as well, starting at 2, same time as always. Um, but I will not be streaming next week, and the week after I will not stream again until Friday. So... If you're looking for streams or videos and stuff, I'm going to be taking a couple weeks break visiting family for the holidays and stuff. So I'm sure you get all that, but we will be pretty much not doing much for a week or two. So don't be too mad, but holidays are holidays. I think there must be a part two. There might be a part two. I'll, I'll probably continue this as a series. See you later, Samurai. All right. Let's kick things off. Once I get outside of the shrine, I will be... I will do my one save because technically this is still on the Switch, so I don't really have a good way of lowering my heart. Even on the emulator, I don't really have a way to do that. Hello, Artie Paints. How's it going? So yeah, once we get out of the Shrine of Resurrection, I will go over to the Old Man's Fire, lower my hearts to quarter heart, and then we shall start our playthrough. And yeah, we're not going to get any heart upgrades. We're not going to be getting any... It'll all be stamina. We can get armor for, I guess, attack up or any buffs that we want, but we can't really save ourselves at a quarter heart. 
So this ought to be pretty interesting. I am a little nervous about trying this, not going to lie, but we'll see how it goes. All right, let's open this up. Grab the old shirt. It doesn't really matter if we put those on because literally any damage will KO us. Hello, Pioneer Robot. How's it going? Let's grab another drink. Got some tea today. Some green tea. Hmm. Love me some tea. And uh, what do you guys drink? Do any of you guys drink coffee or tea or anything? Or just straight, like, Mountain Dew or caffeinated pop? And nice. And let's check out the last one you sent. Mint tea with 10 packets of Splenda. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty good. A good song there. And yeah, no damage runs are hard. Indeed. This will be rather, rather challenging. Two. Said two. Um, You drink tea. Nice. Tea is good. I don't drink it every a lot just because I'm... I tend to not really do well with caffeine so i don't drink it which then makes me more susceptible to it anything besides coffee coffee is so bitter i can't do coffee nice i recognize that song i know doug doug uses it a lot but yeah not 10 oh not oh, okay two not 10 okay i was gonna say 10 to make it real sweet that'd be kind of nice to try though now i'm kind of interested in that Nice. It's a good song. Alrighty. So, like I said, once we get over to the old man's campfire, we can lower our hearts to where we need to be and start off. And he's straight on the first Divine Beast. You go, whore. Uh, are you Naboris just to get Thunderblight out of the way? Maybe. Thunderblight first might be a good way to go just because then we don't have to worry about Thunderblight getting more health later. Um, Because I don't want to... I kind of want to put Mifas off till later just because, um, here we go. Let's do this one. I want to kind of put Mifas off till later just because I'm not really going to be able to use her power at all. Just because getting a full revive is kind of cheap way to do it. So Thunderblight first actually sounds like a pretty good idea. I might try that. And I did add a couple more songs to my stream deck. So I just like keep slowly adding stuff to it. All right, who's ready to start hearing beeping a lot? Okay, what do we get? Half heart of damage? All right, um, hmm. Need one more quarter gone. How am I gonna do this? Let's say Rudania, let's see, Naboris and Rudania. True, that would be good, having the parries available. Does that give me half heart? Um, I don't know how much. Gonna for, all right, see you later. I don't know how much this baked apple. I might go for that. I might grab that. I don't try to remember exactly how many hearts that Bacoblin takes there. So I think he does three quarter, if I remember right. Baked apple three quarter. All right. That would actually be a good idea. Let me do that real quick. Because the first one takes one. Um, then it's a half after that. So how, how are we going to do this? So if I eat another one, that gives me a half. So then... Uh, okay, so let's steal his baked apple. Start off the three-quarter. I think he does with a stick, right? I'm trying to remember exactly how many how much damage. We can test this out real quick. Yes, indeed. Starting out with math. <laughs> I never did well in math class. That's why I'm a woodworker. And any woodworkers out there are laughing because you really have to use math. Um, so I don't remember how much his stick takes. Let me check real quick. Let me see if I need to deal with a baked apple. All right, where are you, bud? Because he just got a tree branch, which is really weak. One damage, okay. What do you do? Half a heart. Okay, not what I want. Um, actually, this might work for us. Because he'll do half of here. 
Hello, Link Sim. How's it going? How's your day been? And hopefully with this, if he uh, doesn't miss. Come on. Come on, bud. There we go. All right. Let me get up to the old man's thing. We'll hard save up there, and then we begin. Who's ready to watch Link flash nonstop? All right. Red Buck has literally no base damage. All right. That is good to know. Okay. We'll hard save here, and then I don't get to eat really anything. Um, Save there. Save has been created. We now have one quarter heart only. So let's uh, get going with the plateau then. This is like the one hit obliterator, but it just goes forever. Uh, we got the pants up there. That doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, let's go raise the tower. It's kind of weird coming back to Switch versus running it on emulator. Seems to be confirmation that Sheikah Slate is somewhat time-based. Okay. Yeah, with the with Zelda's thing at the beginning there, it has to be somewhat time-based, I would think. Because otherwise, how would she do that? Or as a delay? Uh, maybe. I'm not really sure how they do that. That would be kind of fun to test out at one point. At some point. Um, let's just run around this guy here. Raise the tower. Scooting around these Bacalbans are always easy. Rip that one sword Bacalban, though. He uh, completely disappears after this cutscene, never to be seen again. Um. Wait. In this. Uh, what does what happen in the speedrun? All right, let's do this cutscene. Skip it, and then we shall be up the tower and into the shrines. I don't really think we should have too much problem with the plateau itself. Okay. Uh, I think it does happen, because I don't think they can get to the tower fast enough. Blade activation. It might be. Because it's not distance, because I was right next to the thing. Yeah, the head for the true. It's got to be time-based, I would think. And... Get the beautiful cutscene. I'm sure everybody was impressed by this the first time they saw it. Let's see. I think I added a one more. Did I have this one? I think I've had this one already. We'll go with it. I like the the Mario Galaxy music's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure that cutscene would still happen because unless you could somehow manage to launch yourself across the map with like glitches or something. I don't think you can get across to the tower fast enough. It's completely time-based, though. That was a solid two to three minutes spent trying to lower your HP to quarter heart. True. So my guess it would be it'd have to be once you reach a certain distance away from the shrine, then it starts the countdown. would be my guess for that? All right, so we got the Follow Sheikah Slate completed. Yeah, any little bit of fall, this is going to be really tricky because, like I said, the plateau is probably not going to be too hard, but I'm worried about the Guardian in the Cryonis Shrine because he does a quarter heart of damage. All right, get the old man talking to us. Yes. So much dialogue on the plateau. I honestly wonder if there's ever going to be a glitch found to skip all of this dialogue. Like, skip the entire plateau. <laughs> what? No, <laughs> not this time. I'm not very good at it, so I don't want to risk it yet. Maybe someday, though. Probably should be fine with it. Yeah, it should be good. I should be able to get around it. It's just I'm worried about missing the whatever just once. Going for the deflect and missing it once. Because, too, I don't want this to be just uh, hiding from any every enemy stream, just because that kind of gets boring. So I kind of want it to become like a... Like, I also have to kind of put myself out there, in a way, to fight every enemy. I can't just hide from everybody to hope I win. Because then that just gets kind of boring. 
And let's go over to the Magnesis Shrine and start that one. It's been a long time since I played on Switch, though. It's like kind of weird coming back to it now. Yeah. Hopefully your guys' Christmases have been good, too. Got all the presents you wanted or got to spend time with family or you got to enjoy it. I mean, there's plenty of things that can damage you even without enemies. True. Yeah, Malice, Malice is going to be tricky to deal with because the main path that I normally take to get up the castle... Um... The main path that I take to get up the castle involves me standing in Malice for a second to get around the wall up by the Sanctum. Um, so I have to kind of avoid that and find a new way up. Christmas been good. That's good. What I get? Um, I got a blanket, actually. Hello, Legit Potato. How's your day been? How's it going? Uh, I got a blanket for Christmas, so that was nice. What about you guys? Get some new games? Hello, Quinn. How's it? How's your day been? Hope your stream went well. This one's good, hubby. I, I liked it. It was good. Spent it with family. Got to enjoy it. Got a personal best for Christmas. Nice. Coagulations. Got the uh, 1648. Dang, that's, that's pretty good, isn't that? That's up there. If I remember right. Pretty good. I'm doing all right. Having fun with the stream already. Haven't, haven't, <laughs> hasn't gotten too bad of luck or haven't game over it yet so you know off to a great start i had second personal best nice didn't really get anything too crazy got to take the day off that is getting the day off too is nice sometimes um john is the best thing nice got a cool t-shirt nice all right oh this guy um I don't have a shield for this guy. So we gotta kinda take him out before he ever sees me. Well, he has spotted me. Um, I can push him. Nope. I forgot about this guy. I didn't grab a shield in time. Um, that's not too bad. All right, suspenseful music over. There we go. I think that's a feathered edge up there. No, that's not a feathered edge. They don't have those up here. I think that's a... I don't remember what's actually in that thing. But yeah. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, if you missed that, I will be taking the next week and three quarters off. I'll be back a week from next Friday for streaming just because I'm visiting family for stuff for holidays so but yeah hopefully you guys get to have a good new year's eve and day as well that's a traveler's bow indeed that is all right we have completed one shrine you know making great progress <laughs> you are indeed a prophet He's a shield parry method for guardians. True. Trouble is I don't have a shield yet, so I need to go find one. Yeah, stream delay indeed. Was oh, a special blanket? Um, yes, it was. So I used to actually do swimming when I was younger in middle school and high school. So you get a lot of t-shirts doing all of that. Um, so one of my family members actually got the t-shirts together and cut them up to make quilt squares from it and sewed them all together into a blanket. Yeah, that'll be... That is nice blanket to have. A lot of memories too with all those shirts, all those early mornings of swimming. Pot lid near the old man's house. Uh, there is a pot lid next to the tree by the old man's house. I think technically there's a shield if you go around the mountain from the Shrine of Resurrection as well. I think that enemy camp by the old man has a shield, maybe? I don't remember. All right. And let's just skip through all the old man's dialogue here. Yeah, we're not trying to go too fast on this. I'm not trying to beat the playthrough in any sort of speedrun category or anything. But 
Don't want to take too long with all the dialogue that they have. But yeah, who's looking forward to Breath of the Wild 2 next year? Or what's more likely to happen, who's looking forward to Breath of the Wild 2 getting delayed next year? Yeah, we'll go grab that pot lid. The only shield you remember that's easily accessible in the Great Plateau uh, is the one near the old man's house. I think you're right on that. T Speaking of t-shirts, what's the one I got on now? Uh, oh, the, yeah, shoot. Um, You're right. Every shrine gives me hearts. Um, Okay. Dang it. All right. Epic Gamer is excited. Nice. Yeah, it'll be fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I am planning on getting it, too, when it comes out. I don't know how much these bow guys do. Let's see. When I get to the end of the shrine, true, I get full health. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to get around that. I think maybe these guys do a little bit. We'll see about how much damage they do. Um, it is one heart even. Huh. Okay, so that's not quite what I wanted. Welcome back, Artie Paints. Uh, shoot. Um, okay. How are we gonna... How am I gonna make sure I stay at a quarter heart? I'm gonna need to carry a lot of wood and flint and steel, I guess. Um, I could do that. Trouble is you can't lower yourself. Choo-choo's. I think they do like a quarter. Maybe? Am I right? Half. Okay. Um, shoot. So let me go bake an apple, and then we can go reset. <laughs> they have Stormtrooper aim. <laughs> Indeed they do. Miss a standing still target. Yeah, the Kek or the Hateno Village, you can put extra hearts into, but you can't lower yourself. Can't lower the hearts you have. You can only go down to three hearts total. Um, so let me bake an apple, I think, is the way we're gonna do this. Bake an apple, that'll put me at three quarters again, and then the fire takes one heart the first second you're in it, so then that'll put me back at, what, three quarters? And then half from there will be one quarter. We got a plan. Okay, um, let me chop down this tree too so we can get all the apples. I can bake a couple now. Uh, I'll take the wood too so that way I can start a fire if I need it. As a. Don't bother with taking damage, just use the honor system. Eh. I think later we'll end up doing that. I think right now I'll do this. Yes, maths, indeed. All the maths. We'll eat that and then give me one heart of damage. Yeah, we'll do the honor system later. I think once we get off the plateau, we can do that. Because I don't really plan on doing too many shrines after the plateau. Just because I'm gaining stamina at that point. Well, I guess I can't really eat stamina food either. So yeah, we'll see. We'll figure it out. So let's go to the bomb shrine. Hello, Choo Choo. Don't do the damage I need. Uh, I don't remember why this tree is down there. I think this tree is normally down, isn't it? I missed apples. Uh, I thought I got all the ones down from that tree that fell. Because I picked up one and then there was a, only another one on the branch. Okay, there's that. Um, uh, let's go over to the bomb shrine. Uh, shoot, they're gonna see me, that's okay. When did I miss apples? Stamina potion. I could do elixirs. That would actually work well, making elixirs for all the stamina I need. Because, yeah, I think once I can get to the quarter heart off the plateau, I don't have to do other shrines, so I'm going to be okay in that regard. Uh, my gut reaction is just to grab the steak, but there's honestly no need to grab it now because I can't eat. Uh, let's grab all yous. There was a tree in the middle between the two trees. Ah. Did I miss it? Whoops. <laughs> so I'm gonna go by the apples too. Whoops. Ah. 
we'll just uh, edit that out part out, and then it'll look like I'm right. Yeah, that's uh, the power of editing for you. Okay, the bomb shrine is over this way. What is my favorite anime? Uh huh. I have not seen many anime before. Um. But there was the only one that I really remember because I watched a bit of One Punch Man. I watched a little bit of Sword Art Online because my friends out in college were watching it. So I just watched over their shoulder. Wasn't really into it. But the one that I saw when I was a kid was and I forget the name every time I talk about it. But I'm sure you guys know it. it's the anime about this one guy who like eats a special fruit. And then from there he gains the stretchy limbs or something. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but that was on the CW when I was a kid, so we watched that after school. Um, that's the only one I remember, and I actually kind of liked it. One Piece. Yeah, that's right, One Piece. That's right. I remember that now. <laughs> Curse me, not really. Yeah. I'll get apples later. But yeah, I watched that. It was on the CW for whatever reason, so we watched it as kids. Watched almost all. Yeah, they eventually took it off. It only ran for like one season on the CW, so we didn't really see much past that. But that's the one that I remember, and I actually kind of like that one. All right. Let's do, how about The Last Airbender? I uh, watched a bit of that. That one was pretty good, too. I don't know. Is that anime, or is that... Would you classify that as anime, or is that heathenistic? to actually question that. All right, let's open this chest, grab the Traveler's Claymore. I think I'll have to drop a stick at this point. Do I? No, I don't. Okay. I have a thousand plus up. Dang. That's the one thing I do know about anime is that they do tend to run for a very long time. Not anime. Okay. I was wondering, is it a car? Yeah, is it a cartoon or is it anime? All right, let's do that. Just run across. I don't need the amber over there. And do that. Go up here. Bomb that. Thankfully, no boulders fall on my face. That would be a bad way to end. <laughs> Reload right there. That would be a reset. Okay, that's two shrines down. Two more to go. Hello, Helium Baymix. Guess you could say it's the one piece of anime I remember. Ha. <laughs> I, where is it? Hold on, I got a sound effect. You could say it's the one piece of anime I remember. Yeah. I... <laughs> I will never use that sound effect correctly. I got it, and I'm going to hard cut to it a lot, but I can't do it right. Can you play your Arc Remix? Um, in a little bit, I think. So let's go over here. We got this Guardian. He's going to wake up no matter what we do. Um, I guess they had to launch the bomb and blow it up in front of you. True. I've done it a lot, though, so I kind of know exactly how far I have to throw it. I've kind of practiced it, so I'm a little bit more confident. That's probably going to be my downfall. All right, let's go do stasis. Um, I guess I won't really take the time now to go down in hearts. Once I'm done with the plateau, I'll lower my hearts again, I think. Just so that way we don't have to spend a lot of time going back to the campfire, fighting with the Pacoblin and all that. Unless you really want to see Link get cooked again. Okay, so... One thing I am worried about, though, is if we do... If we come across... Yeah, we're going to come across Keese now. Keese and Stall Coblin Archers are going to be a nightmare here. Just because they come up so often. <laughs> Too much confidence can be problematic. Indeed, overconfidence can be a deadly foe. Let's grab some apples here, just in case I need to bake anymore. 
I'm also just collecting wood in case I need to start a campfire somewhere to lower my hearts. Can I dump hearts in the statue in the village? I can dump extra hearts. I cannot dump any more than three, though. I cannot go lower than three hearts ever in the game. It's That limit's pretty hard-coded in, so I can't hurt myself to do that. Um, so we got the pilot over here by the old man's. We got the peppers in his house, too, that I'll just cook up. Let's grab you. Let's break you. Another pepper. Another axe. Oh, uh, dang. I still got some room in my inventory. Thought I was kind of full on weapons already. Um, torch. There's our shield. We are now completely set. Um, let's see. Do that. And let's go start climbing the mountain. This part I am a little bit worried about just because there's one rock jutting out. No armor for this run. Um, armor doesn't do anything because you'll always take at least one quarter heart. So I, even if I were to wear armor, then it would really not do end up doing anything for me because I'd still take damage. The only time I'm going to wear armor is if I want like attack up or if I want cold resistance or stuff like that, then I'll grab armor, but I'm not going to wear armor for defense because there's no point. Alright, I don't remember what this song is. I added it recently, but I don't remember why. I think I played that one already. Let's do this one. But yeah. What do you guys think? Will Breath of the Wild 2 be as broken as the first game? Warm doublet? Uh, probably grab that one. Just for cold resistance. Yeah, what do you guys think? Are they going to patch out a lot of the bugs in Breath of the Wild 1 for Breath of the Wild 2? Or are they going to leave them all in? And what do you think everyone's reaction is going to be if they do patch all the bugs out? Okay. Let's go up here. And there we go. There we go. Next rock. I remember, I still remember this rock face from when I recorded the Glitch Run series. That rock right up there on the closest, highest up there. That one is very tricky. It will throw you off if you're not careful. And let's see. Now looking up, at, trying to figure out if the face cam's all set up right. There will be tears. Yeah, if, if there's not as many glitches. Because I feel like part of the legacy of Breath of the Wild is just the glitches at this point. As if the game wasn't as broken as it is, then people wouldn't be playing it now because we've all played it and finished it at this point. So because it's so broken, I feel like makes it popular, more popular than it would be otherwise. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Am I just crazy or... Do you think glitches make Breath of the Wild at this point? We got stall, stall Coblins too at the top. Alright, um... Can you play your remix? Give me one moment. There we go. And let's uh, go in here. All right. And let's uh, do this. Stasis Shrine number three. This one I'm not really worried about at all with the no damage thing. But Cryonis will be a little bit tricky to get to. A little bit tricky to do as well. Okay. So we got stasis now. Just go across, grab the sledge. I think I have one slot left. Maybe. Yeah, because I had two and then I grabbed the torch. I don't think I grabbed a stick after that. Nice. Let's see. Yeah, I played a little bit of it earlier. Just finished it off there. Alrighty. Um, I guess we'll do that. That's pretty good. 
I like it. All right, let's break that. I do kind of wish, though, they didn't play the whatever, like you did it noise as often. Uh, that's a little bit too epic. What do we got? Uh, no, dang it. I need to know my learn my music better. Let's just do some Terrytown. Yeah, I forget what I was talking about. I think that's a shield up there. I don't really need that shield because I'm going to be getting more later. It would be kind of interesting, though, if we just bolted it for the castle just to get the Hylaean shield early. I guess not really early because you can get it wherever. And there we go. Send that off. But yeah. I am interested to see what glitches they find in Breath of the Wild 2 and... How many of them are actually going to get patched? Noise isn't in Remix. Noise in Remix. What do you mean? I think uh, it should be dust. Yeah, I think it's playing out through desktop audio, so it shouldn't be too much background noise in that. Noise in Remix. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. My brain cells can only work so hard. And alrighty. We just have one more shrine to go and then we're off the plateau. No damage. Take a nice stroll here through the wilderness. Then we'll go grab the warm doublet from the old man's. Nice shirt, thanks. Yeah, it's for the, uh, what was it? The speedrun competition. Finally got one printed. I got one printed for myself. It's a good prototype. Okay, so I have to eat spicy food now. I wonder if there is actually a mod for Simu to be able to actually stay at a quarter heart. That would be kind of fun to actually find. But yeah, it's the HSPCB shirt. Uh, I forget when that video came out. I think it was like July or something. July, maybe early August. Finally made the shirt for that for the speedrunning competition reward, which I will be announcing that competition winner. I will be announcing them next month is my plan. Probably in two weeks. I don't know how many submissions there are. I haven't looked yet, but I will be looking through those and declaring the winner publicly in two weeks. I'll probably contact the winner through email or whatever before that to get everything sorted out. But let's say uh, go for a short stroll <laughs> through the snow. I honestly don't know how eating, how exactly does eating a pepper make you be able to walk barefoot in the snow? Like I've been in some pretty cold areas and I can tell you that is not how things work at all. Okay. Let's see. We got the warm old man's up there. Gives us the warm double it. So, actually, I gotta wait for my stamina to come back. Come on, stamina's. Play another remix. Uh, I actually played all three of them already. I might later. Let's uh, go grab ourselves the little bit of armor for cold protection. Uh, can you see the shirt looks like it? True. Um, yes, give me one second. Let me go talk to this guy. And yes, shirt. Where is it? Ah, stand up for this, but here it is. HSPCB. There's a little bit of green in it, but yes. I'm I'm pretty proud of that. Code in the one hit obliterator inventory. Does that work though? I don't know. I can try that. We can I can maybe because I know it I have save editors. Um So I think I can. I don't know if it'll still take your heart doing that. Okay, let's go down this way. Trying to avoid any and all fall damage as well. Yes, Bokoblin head. Yes. Gotta save the poor Bokoblins. There we go. Do I have any Breath of the Wild 2 theories? Um, 
part of me kind of wonders because there was a lot of speculation at the beginning when we saw all the trailers about time travel. So I'm kind of wondering if something's going to happen because we have the Temple of Time already in the map. It Will there be some time travel aspects where Link actually puts the sword back like an Ocarina of Time? You've got to be kidding me. You've... You've got to be kidding me. One the Goblin Rock. <laughs> one the Goblin Rock is all it took. Just one nick from far away. Somehow they were sniper. Somehow they had stormtrooper aim. But the one time I don't want them to have good aim is the one time they do. Rip. That's okay. Time to dust ourselves off. Let's uh, get going once again. Where are we? We have to raise the tower. Okay, that's where I am. But anyway, like I was saying, for theories, I kind of wonder if there will be time travel, like you have to put the Master Sword back to go back to the events. <laughs> I got killed by a stormtrooper. I I did. That's just shameful. Just quit YouTube at that point. Stormtrooper gets you. But yeah, I do wonder if there will be something involving the Temple of Time in the next game. But I honestly don't really have any theories. I've heard just about everything. But let's do this. Let's raise this tower. Um. So we gotta scoot around the Bacavlin again. All right, see you later. I am... Hmm. So I might have to climb up the back of Cryonis to avoid those Bacoblins. Because I don't really want to go through that again. Can do it, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we'll get it this time. We shall see, though. It should be. As long as I can avoid those Bacoblins, if I can sneak past them, then our problem's solved. If I go up the other side, our problem's solved. But I chose to run right through the camp and create problems for myself. Alright. Let's raise the tower again. This time we'll get it. See, that, that was just a warm-up. See, we had, we had to get practice in first. We had to warm up our skills and abilities first. Now this will be the legit run. This was all just practice leading up to this one moment. See, you guys, you guys, you know what I'm talking about. Bold choice, yeah. Uh, we'll see if this works. We'll see how this one goes. It should be better, I think, because now I kind of know to avoid them because their rocks hurt. And we now have the map of the plateau. Now we can see exactly where we're supposed to go. Thankfully, though, doing this, there won't be any red X's on the map because I'll reload every time those appear. And skip that. But let's get going. Let's do it this time. Hopefully not take any fall damage here, not actually slip between the cracks. Yeah, rocks hurt, indeed. We have scientifically proven that. I mean, what would you guys do without this valuable info that rocks hurt? We're making the world a better place on this channel by informing and teaching everybody. All right, we get to listen to the old man's dialogue again, Pog. Left the tea bag in my bottles, slowly getting stronger. Slowly going from just right to bitter.
Learned one thing today. Indeed, you can go to bed now. You learned your bit of information. You learned your new thing for the day. And now call it a day. And... Tempts us with the paraglider. Let's do this. Let's go back to Magnesis and do it all over again. I do honestly wonder, though, if there is a mod... I might try that, see if injecting the one-hit obliterator into your inventory does keep you at a quarter heart. I don't know if it does or if that's programming around the event that does it. I can test that, though. See if we can move it to the emulator, maybe. And let's just run over this way. Let's see here. Do Magnesis. We'll get all of our hearts back, but that's okay. We'll work on the honor system again. I want the ruby again, too. And shrine opened. Alright. That's not too bad. Yeah, we just have to make sure to take out the robot pretty fast, too. I don't really want him screwing things up either. Just one robot laser would ruin our day as well. And we get the Magnesis rune again. I'm glad you like my streams. Yeah, I'm not really that not really the overact overreactive hyper type. I can't really pull that off, so I don't really try. Glad you glad you enjoy him. And let's do this. Check that over. Yeah, I'm not a screamy guy. I know. I know a lot of YouTubers who are, and I know a lot of them are good at what they do. Just I I can't do that. Or do I really want to do that? So this is what I do instead. Just go polar opposite. Come on. Come on, rock. No. Oh, shoot. Okay. Come on. Nope. Ah, good. Just stop doing that. There we go. Got him. Uh, let's go grab that traveler's bow again, and we'll get across. Go talk to the monk. Don't die. That is good advice. I shall take that advice. I shall keep my health above zero. There we go. There we go. Successfully have gotten past the... Gotten past the robot. Hello, Andrew Racing. How's it going? There we go. And first shrine down again. I can't imagine trying to do this all in one sitting, though. Like, all the Divine Beasts. I think somebody did it. Because I remember it made the news. They're like 39 hours in or something. And finally got hit. But I can't imagine doing this all in one shot. Your phone's about to die. Oof. Ripped a phone. Yeah. That would be rough to do. Just marathon the game. All in one go. No getting hit. That would be so much mental strain. Okay, so next shrine we're going to do is Bomb Shrine. We'll just get in, scoot around the Guardian. That's right, we got to talk to the old man first. Let me spam through his dialogue, then we'll start the music. And... It's just so much. I wish there was an option to actually skip the dialogue on the plateau. I know it kind of break the continuity of the game, but it would be kind of nice, especially for like Breath of the Wild 2. I don't know how much dialogue they're going to put in. I kind of wish they would just give you the option to skip the intro. And that's right. We can teleport to the tower. Who would have thought?
Here we go. And uh, what? I, this one. All right, let's go get ourselves to the bomb shrine now. Go get bombs, stamina or stasis, then cryonis, then we'll be off the plateau. And then we'll get a hard save there. Then it's just a matter of making it our way over to the Divine Beast. Um, which Divine Beast do you guys want to see first? Let me make a poll for that real quick. Hold on. Because yeah, I remember somebody mentioned doing Naboris first. Um, which would be a good option. go yeah i don't know which one exactly to do because if we do mifas this song is loud let me turn this down one second all right there we go let's just uh there that song is a lot louder than i thought it would be but yeah because getting thunderblood out of the way would be good but i don't know because Ruda's, I'm not going to be able to use her power just because I'm not going to be able to use, I'm not using any fairy, so I'm not going to count, uh, whatever, Mipha's grace either. Not going to be able to use that. So, thinking that any of the other ones would be good. Rivali's Gale could be helpful for getting around the map. Um, Rudania's would be good for being able to parry anything and hiding behind my shield. Herbosa's Fury would be good for taking out targets. So I guess it's just, should we do defense or offense first? All right, let's grab ourselves a frog and scooter on. NPCs, <laughs> NPCs, well, that's rude. The player skipping your dialogue, rehearse, I know. Just rehearse their lines and everything and then they just skip everything. I know. <laughs> found it kind of funny too if you're running the game faster on an emulator it actually the game itself will cut over voice acting lines to progress to the next one there we go that's enough of that song and here we go uh, we'll do bomb shrine again excuse me um how many how much damage does bombs do i don't know if bombs will actually give me enough do enough damage right off the bat to put me at a quarter, maybe? I think depending on my armor. I don't remember. Uh, we'll have to test that. See if phone's at 1%. Oof. That's all right if you gotta go. Hopefully your phone doesn't completely crap out on you. Okay, so we got bombs here. I think once I get off the plateau, I'm going to see if bombs will lower my hearts enough. And let's do this shrine. Again. Yeah, plug it. <laughs> what is that from? I remember that was a thing, but I forget what that's actually from. I forget the reference. I don't... For one time, I don't actually remember the reference. An old jingle. Okay. See you later. Thanks for dropping in. We'll be doing this stream later. This idea later. Make it into a series. That's right. An old commercial. I kind of remember that now. Okay. So next one. I cannot wind bomb. Oh. That's going to be killer. I can't ever wind bomb. Because it always deals a quarter heart, at least. Ooh. Yep. The Glade plugins. That's right. I remember that. Now, that's an old one, though. But shoot, I'm not going to be able to wind bomb. I'm going to have to use horses a lot. All right, skip that. Got Spirit Orb number two. Okay. Let's go to Stamina Shrine now. Maybe. Oh, there goes the game. I was like, is it going to load? Is it frozen? I 
And away we go. So we got the guardian here again. It looks like a lot of walking for me. It will be. Lots and lots of walking. And horseback riding, too. And I guess, too, there's the BLSS glitch we can try pulling off, too. Though for that, I'm going to have to be careful about fall damage. But that one could get us around faster. I haven't actually experimented too much with it. I can pull it off, but I can't move around fast. So we could actually work on that, too. And we're actually making a little bit better time than we did last playthrough. We don't have any key spawning yet. It's still a little, still too early in the day for that. But yeah, I've heard you can get around the map really fast with BLSS, but I can uh, slowly fly from one area to the other. And let's go grab the shield again. Grab the apples over here. Because I do honestly wonder if bombs would be a good, easy way to set me back to whatever hearts I need if I do a shrine. Which could be possible. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to test it with armor as well. See if that would be a quick reset. Because doing shrines is going to make things a little bit complicated going back down to a quarter. And I honestly don't know why I'm collecting so much food. I'm never going to use it. Since it really only elixirs are going to count, because anything will boost me past quarter hurt. And sprint over those. Spicy pepper. Hey, we got an arrow from that, too. Nice. Grab another axe. Grab his baked apple. Okay, grab the torch. Grab a pot lid and another shroom. Let's cook up our peppers. Then we'll go up to stasis. Then from there over to cryonis. There we go. Cook all the foods we got. Let's go climb this hill again. <laughs> climb the mountain one more time. Hopefully this will be last time. Fingers crossed. So. Drop that. Oh, we got a Korok leaf. That could be helpful. Kind of nice. I kind of like blowing enemies around with Korok leaves. Um... Can't fall off here either. There we go. Let's uh, do this. Start the climb yet again. And this is one area where I do like the emulator more. Just running the game faster, giving yourself infinite stamina, just makes the climbing less of a challenge, less of a hassle. Especially for parts like this where we've done it so many times. Let's see, there's the next one. Yeah. And I'm I'm looking forward to Breath of the Wild too. I, I do have a strong feeling though it's gonna be delayed at least for a year. So I kinda got a feeling maybe Christmas 2023 is when we'll start seeing it again. Just because a game of that scale is gonna take a long time to actually finish. Even though they do have a lot of assets already, I feel like Nintendo, especially for a game like Breath of the Wild, they won't want to reuse everything. So there's going to be a lot of new stuff to check out. Uh, let's go up here. Let's avoid this rock because the cliff overhang. Link doesn't pull himself far enough forward and just falls right off. Ask me how I know. And there we go. Just got to make sure to get around the cliff edge. There we go. Yeah, it's like just scoots in enough right on the edge there and the cliff overhangs enough that you can just fall off there easily. Here we go. We'll make it this time. And almost to the top. So much climbing. There we go. Just 
scoot on up and oh a dame shrine open let's finish stamina again we'll be just about back where we were and we've only been going for an hour <laughs> been streaming for an hour and i'm still not off a of plateau this this uh this challenge is gonna go great I'm totally not losing my mind already. Okay, so we'll get the stasis rune. And be able to finish the shrine pretty quickly, not take damage. This one's easy to get through without taking damage. And extract the rune, give us the Sheikah slate back. Glad they don't tell us how to use the rune every time. That's one thing I do like about Breath of the Wild is that there's not much hand holding. Like I know with a lot of Nintendo games, especially like a lot of Zelda games, they have such a long tutorial. There's so much hand holding in it right at the beginning that it just kind of gets boring. I like how they just drop you in as like, all right, go get it. Like, just, just go, have fun. And it honestly is a testament too to, the testament too, just how good the developers made the game, that they were that confident in it, that they could just send people out into the world to explore wherever, and they knew it was gonna hold up at that point. That there wasn't anything that they'd have to worry about hiding or anything that they'd have to worry about restricting stuff so that way you don't break the game too bad. They're like, all right, just have fun and break it. All right, one more shrine to go. Let's grab the warm doublet, scoot around the bacoblins and not get pelted by a rock this time. And then we'll make it. Then we'll be off the plateau. Fingers crossed. But yeah, once we get off, I will be testing the bombs to see if that does count. Any damage I take with that won't count. Okay, let's get running here. I need to get away from them. Okay. Come on, Link. Okay, they're still chasing. Let's just go all the way up here. Just avoid them as much as possible. Eat my spicy foods. And is he still... Okay, he's not chasing. Where's my quarter heart? Um, we are on the honor system for the moment just because the shrines, since we have to do four shrines and every shrine fills your hearts back, I will be reducing my hearts to a quarter after we complete these shrines. Just because they're all back to back to back, it will be, it would be hard to go back to the campfire every time. But after we do Cryonis Shrine, then we will go back to a quarter. Um... I might play remixes later. But yes, I will be doing that. We will be going back. It's the honor system for the moment. Because otherwise you just have to watch me toast Link over and over and over. Okay, so... Go grab the warm doublet. From the old man, who's a mountain ahead of us, not this mountain here. So let's do this. Scoot around here. Guess we could try shield surfing. Eh, doesn't give us too much speed. Thankfully, we don't really get stall enemies spawning around us in the snow. I don't know if that's actually a thing or not, but I feel like stall enemies just don't spawn in snowy winter areas. Just kind of feels like for some reason they're just restricted from spawning there. Like I still see them from time to time, but... You see them more in the plains as opposed to cold areas. And never in the Elden region, or never in the Mount Death Mountain. I guess because they'd always catch fire, but that would make things a little bit harder. Anyway, go grab this warm doublet before my cold resistance wears off. Here we go. Make sure also to get down the mountain without taking any fall damage. Because that would be a sad end to the run now. There we go. 
warm. Doublet. Naked Link is superior. Indeed. Naked Link is superior. At least for cold areas, though. We're gonna... We can't exactly always go with Naked Link. I would not last very long there. Ooh. Wind's starting to pick up outside my place. It's always fun to hear the uh, window screen start fluttering in the wind. Just a uh, snowboard down the hill here. Not face plant into any trees. Okay, where are the snowballs gonna come from? They should be triggered soon. There they are. I remembered those. Okay. Now we'll sneak by these guys, not wake any of them, and then we'll get to the shrine. Okay, so I'll just scoot around them so none of them wake, none of them throw rocks at me, and we don't restart again. But I don't really want to do that all over again. And do I have a fan mail link? Um, I have an email for like responding stuff. Um, I guess you can just direct message me on Discord. I don't really have a fan mail thing set up yet. I might do that at some point. All right, so we have made it. This is now the farthest we have ever made it, is now into the Cryonis Shrine. It's uh, baby steps here. Yes. Oop, I think I said stop. There we go. But let's do this. Let's complete this shrine. Only thing I'm worried about is that robot that we got ahead, which shouldn't be too bad. I think I can use blocks to try and stop it, keep myself safe. Um, but it should be shouldn't be too bad. Okay. So we got Crayon is selected. It honestly took me at least three playthroughs to finally realize that you could actually place blocks right underneath you by pressing down on the D-pad. I never knew that for the longest time. So I'd always just aim down. All right, here we go. Here is the... There we go. Robot is done for. We are now safe. We just have to get out of the shrine. So... Okay, there's that. Let's go up the thing. Now once we get the orb... We go talk to the old man, get the paraglider, and then we are home free. We will have completed the first section of the game in only an hour 18. Dang. Yeah, compared to the speedrun I did, I would be halfway done with the game. No, more than that. The new speedrun, what was it? Um, Since... Submissions are closed and all. I guess I might as well tell you. So that speedrun challenge that I did, the time that I actually got was 127.26. So honestly, if we were in that speedrun right now, I would have not even 10 minutes left in it. As opposed to taking over an hour to get off of the plateau. <laughs> All right, let's go warp to the Shrine O Resurrection. Go talk to the old mans. Grab our paraglider and get off of this plateau. And then we can venture out into the world. I should probably, I think I might do that after the stream. I might set up an email for fan mail or anything like that. So let's just run over here. Yeah, I think, yeah, like I said, once we get the paraglider, I shall test the bombs. Because I think with the Hylian pants, I should be, I should have enough defense that'll drop me. I don't know what it'll drop me to, though. So we can do a little bit of scientific testing. And 
scares the old man. See if he drops through the floor this time. I honestly don't know how that glitch happened with that old man abandons link video that I did. I don't know what caused the old man to just drop through the floor, but he did. Just randomly recorded it one day. Um, let's see here. There he is. You can see his faint glow at the top, so he's not falling. He's not leaving us this time. But yeah, for that video, if you actually did see that old man abandons Link, turns out the cutscene still starts, even with the old man not there. It'll still play out the way it's supposed to. It's just, he just kind of warps back into scene. Um, let me grab these pants here. We do have the Pacoblin in front of them, so we're going to have to take care of him. Shouldn't be too bad. Just a couple of little love taps from the sledgehammer here. And that'll be the goblin gun. Oof. Game lags a little bit there. It's one thing I do like about the emulator. Is that my computer's a bit stronger than the Switch, so it uh, doesn't lag. Uh, I think that's a choo-choo in there. I don't want to tempt fate. Not that we've gotten this far. I don't want to screw it up now. Okay, so we got one Bacoblin left to deal with. Um, that's too happy. Let's do this one. One Bacoblin left to deal with. Okay, he's still asleep. Let's... Nope, he's not asleep. There we go. Just a little love tap from our hammer again. And let's go grab... One of these pots always has five arrows in it. And I think one or two always has one. I don't remember. I don't think it's actually... There's there. Five. Oh, I guess one doesn't have one this time. Traveler's bow. We have the soldier's bow up top, I think. Let's go grab ourselves some stamina. It's going to be so weird just never getting hearts. I mean, there's no point to getting them, so... Might as well just dump everything into stamina, but it is weird just not picking up any extra ever. But also, what do you guys think? Should we do the Master Sword early glitch? Is Would that be allowed? Because I don't know. I mean, it would be a pretty strong weapon early that you get with the hearts that we have because I'm never getting more than three. But, I don't know. Would it be kind of cheating? And so we get our next bit of stamina. And old man signals to us. And also there's a ladder on the side of this building. <laughs> I mention it every time because I still think it's funny that, like, honest to goodness, I think in the Breath of the Wild 37 seconds video, I did, I mentioned it in a cut segment that I climbed up the building next to the ladder because I never knew it was there. But <laughs> I honestly did not know this ladder was here for a good maybe 100 hours into the game. Okay, so let's uh, go talk to the old mans. And Plateau will be completed. So this is it. We have done the first section of the game. Ooh. The jet, ah, that's okay. It happens sometimes. So, Paraglider acquired. There it is. Isolated Plateau completed. We can now leave. We can now go wherever we want to. Yes. So, let's grab our bow. Let's get out of here. Okay, um, I'm going to go back to the Omen Ao Shrine area, just because that'll be good testing ground. Remix, um, in a little bit. Got to have the right, right mood for them. Remix. Okay, so let me test the bombs real quick. Let me put on my armor here. 
Um, let's see how this actually does. Let me hard save here, just so we can do some investigating. How much does a bomb do? Because I'm going to roll also. One. Okay, so that does one heart. So what will happen if I do it without... Without the pants on, then. Will that put me down to quarter? Hmm. Let me test this. This is for science. Oh, it kind of does. Okay. Kind of does it. There we get. So that might be might be the way to go there. It might be possible to always put myself at a quarter heart. Old man is the king. <laughs> yeah. Rip. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the old man is pulled the biggest biggest yoink on it. Okay, so that put me in a half. Ah, uh, shoot. Let me reload this here. The biggest bamboozle on everybody. The old man is actually the king. Hmm. Let's see. No, I want my... Where is it? I want that. Let's remove you. Let's do you, I think. One extra defense should be good. That way when... Ah, shoot. Come on. Okay, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful about... <laughs> careful about how we detonate the bomb right next to Link. That way we don't take damage from rolling. I know, he's a... Uh, bamboozled everybody. Okay. Let's put that there, and with any luck... Get up, Link. There we go. We have a way to put ourselves at a quarter heart whenever we want. As long as I wear one level of our one point of armor on my any part of me, I guess. I can leave myself at a quarter heart. So let's do this then. Get to listen to the flashing link now forever. And watch him flash forever. <laughs> Alright, um, you know what, let's just, uh, go full intimidation link here. But, looks like, alright, looks like the poll, let's end the poll, looks like Vom Meadow actually won. Alright, so we shall do Vom Meadow first. Yeah, one by one vote it looks like. So, let's go up here. I'm going to have to grab a horse to get over there. I do want to step over to the Colosseum as well and get the um, get the armor from there. All right, we got some speckled horses. Let's go pick one of these up. And let's glide on over. Hopefully they don't kick me. Please don't kick me. Uh, there's a pro tip for you guys uh, in case you uh, didn't know that horses can hurt you dang it oh and I, I dang it I gotta blow myself up again there we are this time this time we'll get it just uh, redo the song and away we go. <laughs> this time we'll get it, as long as we don't get kicked by a horse again. Let me save right here too while we're at a quarter so that way I come back with the quarter instead of going back with full health. Uh, we got some speckled horses again. Um, That brown one's not... That blue one, I think we can go for that blue one, blue and white. 
because friends aren't close enough yet. There we go. All right, we're on our way. We got ourselves a horse. We got one quarter heart. It's time to begin the adventure. Let's go over to the Coliseum here. It's taking a lot, a lot of mental strength to just not constantly save here. Like, oh, I got a horse. I'll save it. And okay, so there's the Coliseum. I want to grab the headpiece. I think that, yeah, that is the headpiece. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do Majora's Mask just because it'll make things more interesting, I think. Because I feel like if I did Majora's Mask, it would take away a lot of the challenge of the game. Just being able to hide from any monster I want, aside from Keys or Choo Choo's or Wizrobes, it's like then I'm always safe. It's like, yeah, that's that's not really what the challenge is about. And we got a bird there. Don't really need to pick up the drumsticks because we are not eating ever. So I think too what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a bunch of shrines, but I'm not going to do them. I'm going to do all the shrines in one go so that way we can go back to the honor system when it comes time for the shrines, but that way I don't have to worry about always going back down to Quarter Heart afterwards. But we, we do gotta do at least one major test of strength on a Quarter Heart. That'll be fun to do. Just to see how far we can take this. Okay, we got a red Lionel there. Horsey don't run into the muck. So, I need Magnesis. Okay, he's not facing me. I should be pretty safe. As long as I stay close to the wall too, I'll be far out of his range. And the chest is close by here, I think. Um, has he noticed? He's not noticed. He's looking though. There it is. Okay, I seize it. I seize it. He's not looking. Let's go grab ourselves a little bit of armor. Not get clobbered by the chest, either. Phantom helmet, so we get attack up, make us a little bit stronger. At least until we can get, like, the other, the barbarian sets. Honestly, I like, I still, I think the barbarian set is my favorite bit of armor. I like that the most. It looks the coolest. Okay, we have successfully acquired the headpiece. Now it is time to go, I guess, head over to Val Meadow now. That was what the poll has said. The people have spoken, and because we're a democratic channel here, let's go follow democracy. And oh, some good, good writing music here, huh? I think this one. There we go. That's pretty good. Uh, I know we got to scoot around the Thunder Plateau. I don't really think we're going to be in too much of trouble with that. I'm just worried about any keys that might spawn and K KO me. Because not having an autosave is uh, really nerve wracking. Uh, let's just go across this bridge here. I know this one, this bridge here, I don't remember any further bridges. I don't really think they do a lot of bridges on this side. Well, that's the nice thing about having a well-tamed horse in Breath of the Wild. You can just, uh, just sit back, grab a drink. Just, uh, do whatever you want. And the horse just kind of goes... Oh, nope, nope, don't worry, going horse. Why are you... <laughs> Do you really not like me that much that you'll throw yourself into a river to get away from me? Am I really that bad? All right, let, let's get over to Vomito. Windblight. Windblight's going to be interesting on a quarter heart. I don't know how that fight's going to go, because he is fast, but... I guess with a good bow and lots of arrows, you should be pretty good. Uh, we could try farming arrows. <laughs> One rocks hurt, two horses hurt, yes. Rocks hurt you physically, horses hurt you emotionally. And let's...
let's uh, do this. Um, I think... I forget where this road takes me. I think it, yeah, it takes me through there. Um, over by Satori Mountain. Okay, I kind of remember this now. This is over where you get the white horse. Which I am not getting now. Um... Yeah, the white horse normally spawns down there. I don't know if there's a way to actually get rid of the horse completely. Remix? Uh, maybe later. Okay. Um, I guess since this is just a regular playthrough, too, we could get Korok seeds. I don't know. There's not really any that would be tough to get. That would not cause me damage. It's just, there'd be a lot of them. Could be annoying. I don't know. And here's the horse statue. Could get the memory here. Hey, I'm technically supposed to talk to Impa. Whoops. Might do that later. I think whenever we do the Varuda quest line, we can go do. Well, I do Smash Bros. later. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I th that might be a Friday thing. I think Friday we'll do Smash Bros. Today, I think, is going to be... Today's going to be mostly Breath of the Wild, and then Friday, since it is New Year's Eve tomorrow, it'll be Smash Bros. to celebrate stuff. Um, trying to think. Because, yeah, we're doing Breath of the Wild tomorrow as well. We can go for a little bit longer, like two hours Breath of the Wild, an hour of Smash Bros., maybe. Yeah, that'll be tomorrow. Just thinking out loud at this point. Yes, Shake the Maracas, Tree Boy. Yes. Everybody loves Hestu. I have yet to meet a single person who does not hate Hestu for not giving you an adequate adequate reward for finding all of the Korok seeds. Everybody dearly loves him for that. Okay. We could go do this shrine. I could go grab the... Open it up. Uh, I might do it later. Actually, no. I mean, we're right here. We might as well do it. Okay, where's he? Let's see. I, don't know, I think it's one of these here. I know having a long shot bow helps. Because I think, yeah, my bow doesn't quite go far enough. Um, wait, take. Was my Did my arrow fall down here? I saw it somewhere. I ripped the arrow. There might be another way, too, to do it. Um, what does Hestu give you for all of that work? Hestu's gift. The uh, golden ice cream cone. Except it's not an ice cream cone. Yeah, everybody was like, this is not a good reward for the work I had to do to get to do all this. Um, all right, I don't know if this will count. Maybe it will. Let's see. Oh, that does. Okay, good. Yes, a giant turd, indeed. That is the uh, good way of putting it. Okay, we'll open this up. I'll just open the shrine. We'll do, like I said, we'll do all the shrines in one go later. So that way we don't have to worry about dropping back down hearts and then filling them up with spirit orbs and dropping back down. We'll just have it here as a travel point. Shim Dagon. What is that? Shim Dago's shrine. Yeah, I've yet to meet anybody who dislikes Hestu for the gift that he gives you after giving you all the Korok seeds. I've heard everybody just adores Hestu for that thoughtful gift. And there's Cass over there. Eh, we'll just leave him standing. Let's go back to Va Meadow. Get on our way. Yeah, there's going to be probably a good bit of horse riding here because, like I said, I can't wind bomb at all because that <laughs> makes you take damage. So it's going to be a lot of this. Maybe BLSS2. I do want to learn that. I just don't want to get fall damage, like screwed by fall damage yet. Well, ever really. Not yet, but. Okay, so let's make our way over here, I think, is where I'm going to go. Yep, I know. 
I've, I've seen so many Reddit posts about people like, this is not an adequate reward. Why did Nintendo think this was a good idea? But, I don't know, it's just kind of funny to laugh at. Like, you don't have to get all the Korok seeds. There's really no point to doing it other than collectionism, and Nintendo's like, uh, was, you're, you're just doing something you don't have to. Oh. Come on, Orsi. Okay, Von Meadow, I saw him circling around. I think he's over that way. I think he's behind the mountain at this point. Oh, that's a Hinox. I do not want to deal with a Hinox. Okay, how are we going to... I think we got to come back this way. Subvert your expectations, indeed. What was it the critical drink always says? Really, Ryan Johnson, my expectations there. <laughs> okay, let's go around here. All right, we got away from the Hinox. That's good, at least. Uh, that takes me down in the plateau. I need to cut up through the hills here. Okay. There we go. We're, we're getting... We're getting places now. We're going places. Yeah, I don't really want to go all the way back to the plateau yet. But we're going to have to do the entire Divine Beast in one go. From the plateau. Huh. That, that's going to be interesting. Because not only do we have to get to Rito Village, we have to do the Rito Village quest line. Then we have to get into Va Meadow. Then we have to complete Va Meadow. Then we have to beat Wind Blight. All without taking a single point of damage. This is a... <laughs> hopefully I don't lose my sanity by the end of this. Uh, let's try and scoot up. Dang it. Come on, horsey. Let's go over this way. Yeah, easy peasy indeed. Nothing to it. Yeah, you're gonna... Come on. You can walk up that. I think if we maybe took a running start at that, that would work. Ah, uh, we'll just go around this way. Oh, uh, joy. Swarm of keys. They're also gonna be a nightmare. We got another shrine here. We'll go open up this. Uh, what are we? Ah. Friend. Pop my jaw. Let's see. Where is that? I think that train's up here. We'll go open that up to... Not going to complete it now. Like I mentioned a lot. I repeat myself when I don't know what to say. There we go. Shrine has been opened. My horse is still down here. Come here, horsey. Come here. And we just got to loop back here. Just make sure we can actually get down to where we need to go. Get across. I think we have to go across this bridge, maybe. I don't remember if we have to or not. Um, Because Von Meadow, can I pin him from here? I can. So I need to go right there. Which is that way. I think, yeah, we can take the bridge across. That'll take me into the canyon here. Then we loop around that way. I remember this. Do I have elixirs for stamina? I do not. I have not caught any stamina bugs yet. We should do that, though. Stamina bugs would be a good way to go. Okay. Just link flashing bright red. That's not annoying at all. Okay. Yeah, I am worried about the wind blight, especially. So I do want to try and do everything and keep it large chunks if I can, so that way there is punishment to if I do game over. So I don't want to save right before I start the Va Metal quest line, just because I feel like that'd be kind of cheap. But that is a long way to go back if I fail at wind blight. We're gonna have to be really on our game. Oh yeah, the Flying Guardians in this canyon. We're going to have to watch out for those. Let's see, where are they? And Keys as well. Okay. Gonna scoot around that way. We're gonna have to bolt for it. 
Come on. Come on, horse. You don't have time for this. Okay. He spotted me. Uh, he heard something. Because he stopped. I think. Shoot, that's bad. And I don't want to save... Yeah, I can't save scum either to get through this. I literally have to get away from them. Before anything happens. Otherwise, it's game over for me. I guess I could warp away, but that's kind of cheap. Okay, let's go, horsey. Crap the bed. Whew. Okay. Ho -ho Holy crap. We uh, have gotten away from the guardian. Ooh, that was close. That'll get the heart beaten. Watch as we die to Keys now. All right, so we got to go through here. This will take me up and around the water, around the base of the Bow Meadow or what of the Rito Village, and then from there, narrow escape. Indeed, that was very close. All right, let's let's get off. Let's take off again. That was indeed very close. There's Mount Doom in the distance. There's a Talus around here that wakes up, but I never really know where he is. Okay. I know he's around here somewhere, because it's like right in this section here is where he wakes up. Because I hear the boss music every once in a while. And just got to go over to the Rito Stables. There's not a shrine there because I guess they sp expect you to go into Rito Village for that. Just gonna run in. Oh, there's the Talus. There is our Talus. How have I missed that? Okay, we're far enough away now that he long gone. I don't know why my. It's a bull shape near a cliff edge. Yes. Water bottle leaked a little bit. Uh, we got some Lizalfos down there. There is Rito Village off in the distance. Yes. And here we go again. I don't think there's anything in between us and the Rito stable. I think we got a clear shot now. I guess there's monsters, but as long as we run fast enough, they'll never catch us. Just bolt. That's always the solution. Goodbye, guy. <laughs> come on, horse. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, horse, for stalling when I did not need you to. Just get going, buddy. And... We have made it to the stable. We are safe. Just get across. We'll be in the village. So let... I'll dump my... How much... What do I got? I think I have a ruby. I don't think that's going to be enough. Um, I am going to have to warp away. Because I do... I can leave my horse here. He'll stay there. Fun fact if about horses in Breath of the Wild, I heard, is that if you ride one, actually, and tame it, it will stay technically registered to you in the game. Register the horse. Uh, I don't have to actually. As long as I come back for him, he'll just stay there. He won't call if I. He won't come if I whistle for him, but he will never despawn. So I can leave him there. Okay. So we got this. Um. Because I'm gonna have to do some mining to be able to afford the snow quill set. I think because, yeah, Ruby gives me 200 rupees and I need 600 for the legs. So I'm going to have to find some stuff to sell. Um, I should I need to add the Rito village music to my stream deck. And we get stopped by the... Divine Beast. 
210. 210 rupees, okay. But I know it's 600 for the piece. There he is. Divine Beast Va Meadow. And all of his spoopiness. Yeah, we're, we are going to have to find some gems, though, to sell. How's it been going? It's good. We got off the plateau, only failed the one time. Then from there, it's been pretty clear. Haven't really fought anybody, haven't really... It's been a few close calls, but we've gotten through so far. And... Zorilda tells us to go take on the Divine Beast. Let's uh, just do the regular Rito Village music, though. It's good stuff. I do wish in Breath of the Wild 2, though, there would be an option to swap to mute the music, but not the sound effects. Okay, so there's the statue. Um... Here's the inn. I cannot sleep at an inn because that'll give me my hearts back. Alright. Buy my stuff. Here to sell. Um, so, we, yeah. This will sell for 210. Then these will sell for a little bit. So, what do we end up with? Are we ending at the end of the beast or what? That is my plan. I might pause it. If we get into the Divine Beast, depending on how long the stream goes for at that point. But the hard save won't come till after the Divine Beast. And 550 for those. Okay, not as bad as I thought. So let me go open up the shrine. Here, so we can warp back. Never knew that the mini statues could be used as the main one. Yeah, the little goddess statues technically count as main goddess statues and they can all be used and there's one in every village that's not in the settings nope you don't get that option at all it's all music all sound effects or nothing okay so we got them's open um some luminous stones over that way okay let's do that let's go get me some luminous stones Cause they sell for a pretty penny too. As long as like it don't actually take any damage from the cold. But yeah, I do wish they would add that as a setting in Breath of the Wild too. That would be nice. I feel like a lot of content creators would kind of like that, so we don't have to mute everything. Yes, Tim Village, the best music in ever. This is the pinnacle of humanity, this song right here. Yes. Okay, so where... Please tell me that's not a talus. I don't want that to be a talus. I don't want to fight talus here. Okay, we got some burbs. That, oh, we got a truffle. That won't really help. Okay. Because I saw them up the path, but I thought I saw some extras down here. Is that No, that's just a rock. Where were they? I guess we'll just go down the path. They sell for a good bit. Kind of dumb that you had to pay extra for a new emulator on the Switch. Yeah. It, it is kind of bad that you have to pay for that. But I guess it's also reimbursing them for their work that they put into it. But I don't know how much work they put into it. I kind of feel like part of it... Here, let me turn on turn off pro mode so I can actually see if I'm going to take damage from the cold. I kind of feel like part of Nintendo is really about quality. Like, they want to put the best into the game that they can. And then the other part puts out, like, Animal Crossing Monopoly. Or, oh, shoot, that is too cold. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Warm up, please, Link. Please warm up. There we go. Yeah, Amiibo Festival. I feel like half of Nintendo makes the best game they can. The other half of Nintendo puts out Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. And it's like just such a contrast between them. Fung lets you found out about Breath of the Wild. What sudden's that? Okay, I'm gonna 
hang over here, see if I can find any the luminous stones that are over this way. Um, thanks. Hopefully we can do it. It's a, uh, it's been an interesting challenge so far. One Bacalwin rock ended our first playthrough, but we made it off the plateau. You can move side and away from the fight. I know about the ride side on anywhere. Is that it? Okay, let's take that out. Uh, Amber sells for 30. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's a choo-choo. Eh. Choo-choo jelly doesn't sell for that much. We can just run. Okay, we got wolves. Dang it. Let's see. And it's that back one there. There we go. There it is. All right, that's that's enough Tem Village. I have it on loop forever. <laughs> um, I don't remember if there's any other rocks around here. I know we're getting into Octorok territory, and I don't want to go that way. Those Luminous Stones are kind of off. Where's that wolf going? What? Is he okay? What? Where are you going, bud? Oh, he despawned. <laughs> Imagine taking Sidon to see Revali. That would be kind of fun. Just take Revali everywhere, or Sidon everywhere, meet all of them. I know you can take Yonobo out. I think it was... What was his, What was that guy's channel name? It was not the Bread Pirate. It was... It was something like Tom Nook Bells. I'm butchering that horribly, but I remember his channel name. He took... He took Yonobo out. I think he took Sidon out at one point. Um, and there was another follower he could pull out of the quest. I uh, see. Don't know. We get the moon jump and talk to him without touching. Oh, that that one. Yeah, right side on anywhere. That one's a fun one to do. Oh, that's a. Uh... Oh dang it. Okay, let's see here. And there we go. Got some more Russian bots. Love it when that happens. Is that That's the Luminous Stones over there. Okay. I see them Luminous Stones. Oh, that's a fairy. I don't want fairies. There we go. Last arrow took out the woof. Um, Let's grab these. I think 10 gives you enough for a diamond, which is 500 rupees. We won't get 10 from this. But it should be, I think, enough for 250, is my hope. Okay. Gruda. Boko Club Gaming. Was it that? Because he had, like, a crudely drawn Mario head as his profile picture. I think it was a green background around it. I forget his channel name, though. I've seen him a few times. Yeah, he did side on in Gerudo Town, I think. He took him there, at least on Reddit. What was that guy's name? This is going to bug me now. They're not BCG. No, I don't think it was them. Don't think it was him. Um, oh, we get all the DLC quests. Point Crow. No, it wasn't Point Crow. Um, let me... All right. I'm... Let me pause the game real quick. I'm going to look this up. Is it... What was his channel name? You should go back to Breath of the Wild. It did everything except a few side quests and 500 Croc things. Yeah, this Thorny Fox. That was his channel name. Thorny Fox. That's right. I knew I'd seen him around. I just couldn't remember. He's the one that pulled Sidon out of his quest line and did all that. That I saw, at least. I'm sure other YouTubers have done it. He was the only one that I've seen do it. Okay, let's go sell stuff to get... Point Crow did it first. Ah, did not know that. Let's go sell all my gems. Uh, here to sell. 
Uh, what do we got? Four luminous stones and two amber. So that'll give me 280. And that puts us just shy. Two amber should put us over. Oh. All of them. There we go. So we now have enough for the snow quail shit. So let's go buy that. Go grab the pants. Because all you need is one piece. We can now survive the cold. Where, there's my snow pants. Excuse me. All right, let's go talk to the village elder, get that quest started. Then we'll be on our way into Vamido. If you use Sidon glitch combined with other glitches, could Sidon write on Link? I don't know. You could try finding that out. That would be a popular video, I bet. If somebody could pull that off, that would get, like, a couple tens of thousands of views easy. I don't know what it would take, though, to actually pull that off. Okay. Listen to the old man's story. Instead of listening, just spam B and old man's story done. Ah. Okay. And... Here we go, we get the Ravali memory. We can skip over Ravali because nobody loves Ravioli. Ravioli ain't nobody's favorite, so nobody would mind if we just skip right over his dialogue. Yeah, that would be an interesting idea, Step Ninja, please. You'd have to corrupt the game pretty bad, I would think, to get to get the game to think should upload a video on Breath of the Wild if you want to. I mean, it's your channel. Do whatever you want for your channel. As long as you're having fun with it. If you are, if you feel like, all right, I guess we'll talk about channel stuff, but if you feel like you have to do something for your channel, like if it becomes something you feel like you have to do instead of something you enjoy, other people will notice and your channel won't do as well. If you enjoy it, then other people will notice that you do. And then people will, then from there, you'll start having people enjoying your content. You'll start building a community from that. Cleric's favorite and yours. Ah, nobody loves Ruvali. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so we got, I do have to watch out for the mounted archers over here. I think, yeah, we have to scoot around here will take me pretty close to them, and I'm out of arrows. So this is going to get interesting. Let's sneak around them real quick. See if we can. I know they spot you from a very long way away. Um, They're spotting something. They don't see me yet. Because if, if this comes to an actual fight, I don't think I can take them. Thanks for that. You're welcome. I think if I can take them off the horse, I might have a chance. Shoot. Um, because they, they just move so fast. Alright, bombs. Save me, bombs. There we go. Let's just run for it. Welcome back, legit potato. Hopefully your phone's not gonna die as not gonna die this time. We are currently running from mounted bacoblins and wolves. Okay, he's just gonna run into that. Nope, he missed. Okay. Um, shrine over there, we'll open this up. Shield, we do have a shield. But, I don't know, because the horse trampling would run me over and deal damage. So I don't want to risk that. That's okay, we got past them. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Not sketchy at all. Not scared at all. It's fine. Okay. So they do have arrows here. Which I will be happy about because I'll need them. And grab these ten arrows. Plus the swallow's bow. We'll just burn up the traveler's bow. Oh, apparently pulled out our bow for this cutscene. Skip that. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, Traveler's Bow. 
talk to you. Say we can help with Val Meadow. It is, every fight now, though, is so worrisome. Just because I don't know if I'm going, like, if I take any damage, that it's just game over. So, like, it's like master mode, but it's even worse because I have to go back so far if I lose it all. Okay, shoot five targets. And two. There's one. Two. And three, four, One more. and five. Easy. <laughs> Believe in me, thanks. Yeah, that's, a, that's an easy challenge to do. Shoot five targets in three minutes. Your bird hates being filmed for some reason. Ooh. Will I play Relics of the Past? I do plan on it. Um, I want to get... I want to get mods installed on my computer. I'm just having a hard time with it. It gives me an error error code every time I try. So I don't... If I can get it working, I will. Okay. Bomb Eros. We are ready. Let's save Rito Village. Hold on. We need, we need better music for this. Once we get up into the sky, we'll put on some epic music. What do we got? Have I looked up? Have I looked at SM? Um, SM, what's that? Here we go. It's showtime. In Valmeta, you should use the moon jump. Moon jump is a fun way of doing it, honestly. I think I've done it. Actually, with the moon jump, you can beat all of Valmeta without ever getting the map. It's a fun tidbit there. Okay. Well, let's go. Scrap mechanic. Not yet. Okay. It's going to spot me here. Let's just start dropping. Ooh, that's close. Dang it. Come on, bomb arrows. Okay, that's one hit. That's two. One cannon down. We got three more to go. I mean, I know this fight really isn't that hard, but really any damage, it's like... Being this low on hearts is just makes it worrisome. Can't help with that because you've been trying for eight months and haven't gotten the Simu working. Simu is it is a bit tricky. Um, I had problems trying to get it to work too, but I don't know. It just kind of clicked one once, which helped a lot. All right, there's one. Aim high because that bow doesn't go very far. Come on. A traveler bow is about to break. Don't break on me, bow. Okay, there's thing two. Don't think he in wind bomb anymore. That's okay. It'll come back, just like riding a bike. Okay. You can get like a small thing. He made took you from 60 FPS down to 15. Ooh. Dang. I wonder how much that depends on your computer specs, too. He is indeed targeting us. Thank you for that insight, Tiba. I would never have known he was targeting us unless you told me he was targeting us. Okay, this next shot's gonna break it. We got one more cannon to go. Only when you added cardboard. Ah. Okay. Last cannon. Just start flying up so he misses. Pull out the other traveler's bow. And, ooh, that was a little bit close there. Is he targeting you? That is an excellent question. I don't quite know if he's targeting us, but he might be targeting us. There's one, there's two. And Va Meadow down. We're now inside. We now have to complete the entire Divine Beast and Wind Blight without getting hit once. Won't be tricky at all. Alright, skip the Tiba cutscene. We've all seen it. If you want to see the cutscenes, you can there's other channels that have done that. I don't want to take too long with them. Let's do this. Let me edit this real quick too. Hey. 
There we go. We now have this added as a travel gate. And can't eat at all. I do have cold gear, so I will be good there. But um, this low hearts, it doesn't really matter what armor I put on. I can't eat to get hearts back. Um, need a map. Technically, you don't with Moon Jump. Is this the first Divine Beast on this playthrough? It is. This is the first one we're doing. So straight from the plateau to here. That stone has the information. So, you know, it's uh, going to be a little bit intense. Like Boy Scouts in summer. Okay. What do we got? Once when he tried speeding, he glitched and somehow got moved to Val Metal Fight after the Great Plateau. Ooh. Yeah, that would not be a good way to go. Bomb metal fight right off the plateau. I don't think you'd even have enough arrows for that. Okay, we got that guardian up there, which I am a bit worried about. Pull out the sledge for that. Okay, he's got a spear. We're going to have to perfect dodge, which isn't too bad to do. There we go. This will do it. Um, If I game over, are we ending there? Probably. Okay, he's going to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, shield just in time. Thank you, Potlid. You are our saving grace. Lightning one will be hard. Yes, it will. Because that'll be a long way to go back. Okay, I can't carry any more melee weapons. Let's dispose of Tree Branch. Tree Branch has served us well, but we no longer need him. Okay. Open up the map. I think there's a couple extra guardians. Universe has computers because if a ray hits in just the right spot, it can flip a bit. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to Naboris at all. There's a lot of enemies there and Thunderblight too, because we'll have to redo the entire the entire Naboris quest line if we lose to Thunderblight any damage to Thunderblight, and it's just restart there. We're going to have to be on our A-game that day. Okay, we now have a map of the place. Let's do this. I'm, I am going to have to collect some arrows before the fight starts, just so that way I have something to be able to take down Windblight with. Because I don't like my odds right now. Because I only have, what, five arrows and seven bomb arrows. You'd save Thunderbite for last because of the Ega. True. Doesn't look so good or bad. It can end a run or make major skips randomly happen. Ooh, that ain't good. Yeah, Thunderblight is a little bit scary. And we got another. Love it when the bots come. Okay. So we got that eyeball there. I think I have another... Uh, I don't have another stick. We got an axe, though. We'll get rid of the axe. I'll have to check out scrap mechanic. Does it cost anything to get? Yeah, I... I'm very scared for Thunderblight. Rip the axe. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll collect it later. Okay, so I need to use an arrow here. Let's use a bomb arrow, land it right inside. That should take out that. Just like I planned it. Okay. $30 on Steam. Okay. I might look into it later. Oh, yeah. Other question for you guys. What game should we add to the Monday variety stream game list? How would I claim it? I would have to use a glitch to claim the Master Sword early. But yeah, what do you guys think? Because I'm looking to add one game to the list on Mondays. But I don't know what game I should add. What are you guys interested in? What would you want to see? Because we already do Minecraft, we have Terraria, we have Portal 1 and 2, Risk of Rain. Risk of Rain is going to be later as well. There's a bow in that chest over there. True, I will grab that bow. 
I think once I complete this section here. But yeah, if you got any ideas or suggestions for games you would like to see me play, I will only be getting one. So whatever top suggestion we have, that is what we will be adding to our streams. Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight. I have been interested in Hollow Knight. That is an option. Okami. Um, all right. Let me write these down real quick. Let's see. So we got... Okami. Just so that way I don't forget them when the stream's over. Okay, let's drop that there. Then... Rotate the Divine Beast. Hold on to use so we get all the pushing power we need. FNAF. We could do that. I've never played a FNAF game. That could be an option. I mean, we do have VR, but I do not like horror games. So you get to see my reaction to horror games. Um, you have 12, 40 hours in Hollow Knight and still haven't 100% of it. Dang. Seems like there's a lot you can do. Okay. And let's go grab this. Okay. Three terminals left, almost halfway. I need to take a kitty break here in a second. One of my cats is nuzzling my legs here. Akami's a masterpiece. Ah. Interesting. I've never heard of it before. Okay, so my axe should have dropped down there. Um, we got that eyeball there. Is it... I think? I can't see. It's overhung. Let's see. I think the next area... I go down here. I do that. You have 500 plus in... Scrap mechanic. You're still not good. Ooh. Dang, sounds like there's a lot you can do there as well. Okay, let's grab this chest. 100 hours in economy can't stop playing. Ooh, a lot of good suggestions. Okay, let's check this. Hopefully we can get it. Um, I don't know if I did. Hopefully I got the eye. No, I did not shoot. That's a hard angle to pull off there. Um, oh, we could run a vote on that. I'm probably not going to buy anything today or tomorrow, so there is time. Are the Malice Eyeballs all Ganon's eyes? Oh, okay, we got it. I th don't know. I don't actually know if they're his eyes or if they are um, just offspring of his. Okay, so that tips up because I want to glide down here. All right, let me make a pull on it. Oh, hold on. What are you doing? Let me pause it too so nothing happens while I'm not looking at it. Oh, hold on. Game. YouTube's being weird. I'll make a pull in a second. See if there's any consensus on games. That would make sense. It would. That it was all... I don't know, though, because then Ganon could watch Link moving. So I guess why wouldn't he... actually try and stop you more? Or I guess is that why monsters... Wait, is that why monsters get harder then? Because Ganon is actually watching you through the Malice Eyes? So then as he watches you, he levels up the monsters because you're not getting stopped? There's a... There's a fan theory for you. Okay. Um. What was that? I was pressing buttons on my keyboard. The poll accidentally ended before I meant for it. So. It glitched out and then I tried ending it. So now I can actually make the poll that I want to. All right. Scrap mechanic or there we go. See if there's any consensus. Made a doc called Link's Journey. Make a book. Dang. 
Sure, I can let you know what you what I think. Yeah, I've honestly, I've kind of want thought about it, but I have actually tried a little bit of writing myself in high school. I didn't think it was very good. I could never flesh out the scenes like I wanted to. Um, but maybe someday I'll actually get around to writing it. It's a fantasy adventure type book. Okay, I'm going to come down here. I don't know. Didn't want to get clobbered by that. I remember you really don't. I don't want to risk it. Not bomb arrows. Yeah, I know you have to aim really high for this. Watch this. First try. Watch this. First try. Come on. Gonna waste all my things doing this. Everyone votes for... Yeah. Probably. That's kind of what I'm expecting, but... You know, just just maybe we'll get a consensus. Okay. And it's short so I can not actually see the eye. Let's just go all the way back. Well, that is a nice touch, actually. I never realized that. The arrows in Link's pouch are actually realistic. So when you have one arrow left, there will only be one arrow in his quiver there. Interesting. All right, let's get over here. We'll go in there. We'll do terminal number four, then number five, and then it, it will be time for wind light. Doink. Godzilla split her soul. If, let's see. Godzilla split her soul if she had more power than Ganon. Huh. I don't know. So how do I put 500 in it? Only one terminal left. I think we got rid of all of them. There might... No, there's still a malice mouth somewhere. Where are you? I heard you. Okay, you're coming out. There's the Bacoblin. Um, Don't blow myself up. Okay, yeah, that's where it is. I'm out of arrows. Dang it. I have to use bomb arrows. Okay, let's just take care of you. Um, and we got to get rid of these guys. Okay, there's the Lizalfos. Uh, what do you mean put 500 in it? Okay. All I do is write a draft, get the idea, then... Nice. Yeah. And I, I have respect for people who can write. I can't... I'm not very good at it. Maybe some... It would be kind of fun. I don't know. Maybe make a community post out of all my writing stuff. Publish a book there. I don't know if that would be interesting or not. Okay, magnetize you. Lift you up. Technically, you don't actually have to use the gravity of the thing. You can use bomb arrows to push the hammer over. So you don't have to worry about turning the Divine Beast at all. Thing is, you're horrible at art. That's okay. Okay. So this is the last terminal here. That's going to drop the gate. Wait for that to drop so we don't get clobbered by it. All right. <laughs> Chica Slate has been authenticated. We now have to fight Wind Blight. I'm going to go, before we do that though, I'm going to leave real quick and collect some Eros. Yeah, I'm I'm not great at art either. I can uh, make a recognizable stick figure is about the best that I can do. This is intense. It is. We got a lot writing on this, so... If we don't get it this time, this is uh, going to be rather hard. Okay, there's Tiba. Um, no Eros there. Let's go back to Rito Village. All right. Let's go grab me some Eros. Then, because I'm going to have to buy a lot of arrows for this. You can draw sometimes. 
That's better than I do. Last time I did any drawing was actually the profile picture for my channel, the Yobo Plays purple background thing. That I, I actually drew that, um, just kind of sketched it out, and then colored it in on the computer, and then slapped in some 3D objects over top of it and called it a day because I thought that looked good. Ah. So, let's grab, some, how much, 42 rupees, do I have anything to sell? I have the core, the core and ancient parts should sell for a bit. So I'm gonna need like 30 arrows at least. Um, I don't wanna buy bomb arrows. Bomb arrows would be nice, but I don't really, they're gonna be too expensive for what I need. Yeah, Gen is not smart. He could just possess a Shiga Slate. True. That is an excellent point. Why he doesn't do that? Um, nothing here really sells for much other than that. So, arrows. Let's buy use. Take them all. Okay, we got 126 left, and we have 15 there. Um, I think, yeah, we hit a shrine here, so let's go visit Beetle here. Zelda was guarding it. That might have been. It was in the Shrine of Resurrection. Huh. That is, that does bring up an excellent question, though. Does, did Ganon know where Link was while he was in the Shrine of Resurrection? So, I mean, did... Ganon know where they took him and just couldn't get to him or did they did he just not know where Link was and not know where to look I don't know actually you understand now alright see you later alright looks like Meeple man Ganon thought Link was dead ah that is actually a good point that he thought he... Because he actually did kind of defeat Link. So, yeah, that would make sense that he wouldn't look for Link because he thought Link wasn't around to look for. Okay. We'll buy 10 arrows and then 20 arrows. I don't have enough... What? How much? Take them all. Why don't you tell me how much I need? Uh, six. Monks are probably secretly working with Ganon. The whole situation. Yeah. Probably. Is that why Link Thanos snaps them out of existence every time? He did so hard math and Link has 200 health. Ah. That is good to know. Link was obscured by a swarm of guardians. Maybe. Okay, there's that. Um, do I have anything else to sell? Let's see. Maybe buy this. Let's see how many I can actually get. 6, 12, 18, 24. 30. 10 will be 60. 66, then 72. 78. 84, so that should be all I can buy. Yep. I did maths. Ha. I can be smart sometimes. Dang. Yeah. Link has some health. Yeah. Oh, a soldier's bow. I'll take that. Um, I'll take soldier's broadsword as well. Well, I believe this is as good as it's going to get. 39 regular arrows. 10 ice arrows. 5 bomb arrows. 20 damage falcon bow with two soldier's bows behind it. Uh, one quarter heart and a soldier's broadsword protected by a pot lid. I mean, what more could a man ask for? Let's do this. We'll turn on the epic music once the fight starts. And we'll see how this goes. Hopefully this is it. Hopefully we can take him out one go without being hit once. Let's 
So let's go activate the terminal. I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous at all. That's good though. That's how you know you're alive. There it is. Let's... Let's do this. Let's skip the cutscene and let's get right into this. Okay, there he is. Okay, he's gonna teleport. Where are you going to, bud? I have to get headshots on him. Otherwise, he's going to shoot at me. Okay. Teleporting, where are you going? Okay. Another. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna just get. No! He went through the thing. He, he shot through the, he shot through the thing. What? One shot was stopped by that terminal. And then another one just like, lol, I'll go right through. All right. See you later, Step Ninja Place. Have a good evening. Dang it. Dang it. He did so well, too. Just, he went behind the thing and I did a dumb and should have held up the shield. I should have shielded. Ah. I even talked about the shield too and I forgot to do it. Ah. Hang on. Dang it. This is going to be a much harder challenge than I thought. But. Does it count since it's glitched through? Uh, I'm counting it because I took damage. So, dang it. We got to go all the way back there. But I think we're going to have to save that for next time. I think I don't really have the energy in me to go all the way back, and it's going to take me a long time to do it. So I think I'm going to call it here. We'll go back to Vaumetta. We'll try this again next time. But anyway, we'll be, we'll be successful next time. Holy cow. This... This is going to be a hard challenge. This is going to be a fun one. Um, but anyway, I think we'll call it quits here. We've been going for, what, two and a half hours at this point? Yeah, two and a half hours. And over an hour and a half was spent on the plateau. So next time, though, we should be able to get to Vaughn Meadow. We should be better prepared, at least. I should be able to do better, I think. But anyway, I think, like I said mentioned a lot but anyway <laughs> did good all things considered thanks i appreciate the appreciate the compliment um but yeah we'll be streaming tomorrow friday two to like four or four thirty my time then no stream at all until not the friday after but the friday after that no stream for two weeks just about but anyway, thanks so much for everybody who stopped by. We'll get it next time, and I shall see you all later. Take care.